stressful process. Many first-time buyers are understandably nervous at the prospect of making the largest purchase of their lives. Rather than diving in and hoping for the best, you should prepare carefully before you begin your home search. Hi, I'm Heather Hancock from It's Closing Time Realty. Here are some useful tips that will help you turn an overwhelming and intimidating experience into an exciting search that will put you in the perfect home. Tip number one, establish a realistic price range. A common mistake among first-time home buyers is purchasing more house than they can actually afford. You should not rely on banks to determine what you can comfortably spend on a new home. Banks are adept at determining the amount of monthly debt in the form of mortgage, insurance, credit cards, student loan, and auto loan payments, but they have no way of knowing what you spend each month on groceries, entertainment, utilities. So you should make a list of all monthly expenses excluding your rent or your current mortgage payment, and whatever is left after monthly expenses is the amount available for mortgage payment and housing expenses such as taxes, insurance, home maintenance. Careful consideration of your budget saves time by weeding out homes that you can't afford and guards you against overspending. Tip number two, get pre-approved for a loan. Getting pre-approved for a mortgage prevents a deal on a dream home from falling apart due to failure to obtain financing. You should compare loans from several lenders. Lenders are meant to be shopped so you can see which one best suits your needs. A pre-approval letter will give you some power to negotiate on a home's price because the seller is going to view a pre-approved offer more favorably than an offer that comes without lender pre-approval. Keep in mind that pre-approval is different from pre-qualification. During pre-qualification, pre the lender est estimates what you can afford. Pre-approval is a more involved process in which the lender looks at your credit report and performs an extensive financial background check. At this point, you'll get a good idea of the mortgage interest rate as well. Tip number three, set priorities. You should compile a list of what you need and want in a house. Needs might include the number of bedrooms, square footage, high quality schools, and commute time. These needs are aspects of the house that either cannot be changed or cannot be changed without substantial cost to you. Wants, on the other hand, are something you would like and that can be changed. Wants may include a pool or a hot tub, landscaping, or hardwood floors. Making a list of wants and needs helps you focus on what's really important in a house. Ideally, the new house will include all of the needs and a few of your wants. Tip number four, choosing the right neighborhood. Crime statistics, property taxes, and school quality are important considerations for you. Because the neighborhood makes up a large part of a home's value, take your time to find exactly what suits your needs. You should also consider your job commute, traffic during rush hour, and proximity to amenities such as shopping, churches, and anything else that you're involved in. Tip number five, Find the right home inspector. You will need a professional home inspection. Even new houses may present costly problems evident only to a home inspector. You should talk to several inspectors before hiring one. You should ask about the inspector's qualifications, scope of the inspection, how long it will take, and the nature of the report you will receive at the end of the process. Main areas covered by the inspection should include quality of construction, integrity of the foundation and the condition of the plumbing, electrical, heating, and cooling systems. If the inspection uncovers serious issues such as cracks in the foundation, you may decide you want to back out of the contract or ask the seller to repair the problem. Following these tips will help keep the purchase of your first home hassle-free. If you have questions about purchasing a home, please reach out.